Frostlass, the Ice Queen of Pokemon, the Generation 4 Ghost type evolution of Snowrunt, is one of my favorite Pokemon. And I'm not just saying that because I'm being held hostage. Frostlass pretty much has it all a great design, interesting origins, great stats, and is an amazing answer to Cynthia's Garchomp. And today we're going to look at everything Frostlass has to offer. First, the design and origins. Almost any culture you look at will have stories of an Ice Queen. They're sort of like dragons in that regard. You can find several interpretations of the same concept. Though as you'd expect, Frostlass is mostly based on Japanese interpretations, being an ice bear that takes human form, looking for men who will be easily captivated by her beauty. Frostlass is a humanoid Pokemon, garbed in a fine kimono, and having a terrifying beauty. Get it? I described Frostlass in the same way as Legends Arceus. Let's talk about that. In Traces of a Lost Village, we learn the story of a man who encountered a Frostlass, that Frostlass became a human, and married the man. They likely had a family together, but it all came crashing down when the man told his wife about Frostlass. Frostlass left, leaving the man all alone. But how do I know they had a family? Well, this side quest starts because Manny wants to learn about his ancestry. He mentions he learned about the village from his grandmother. His grandmother. A female. Just. Like. Frostlass. And looking at it, Snow World looks like a child wrapped in blankets. It's possible that the whole evolution line started with the match between the man and Frostlass. Something people always wonder with Pokemon like Frostlass is what came first, the Pokemon or the human. Dex entries mention how Frostlass used to be human. There are two possible explanations for this. In one, the Snow World line is a natural occurring species of Pokemon, but there are two types of Frostlass. Wild Frostlass that evolved from Snow World, and Frostlass that were once human. But it could be instead that Frostlass is the original star of this evolution line. It could be that the Frostlass from Legends Arceus side quest was the first Frostlass. She and the man had children, those children being Snow Runt, and they would either evolve into Glalie or into Frostlass. But enough about lore, what about how good Frostlass is as a Pokemon? Just like its counterpart Glalie, Frostlass has a base stat total of 480, but while Glalie has its stats evenly split up, Frostlass' HP and defensive stats are only 70, with the extra 30 base points going into its speed. In the competitive scene, Frostlass is the go-to Pokemon to set up spikes. Being a ghost that prevents the opponent from using Rapid Spin, Frostlass is also great for Destiny Bond strats. In a Sinnoh playthrough, I can tell you from experience that Frostlass is an amazing answer to Cynthia's Garchomp. Garchomp has a base speed stat of 102, so Frostlass is almost guaranteed to outspeed one shot Garchomp. Garchomp. And plan to have to wait until you have 7 badges, after which you'll get Rock Climb, and be able to enter the area where Snora is found. And in BDSP, you can get Snora in the Underground, in the Celestic Town Underground, which will be after you have 5 badges. Being an Ice Ghost type makes Frostlass weak to Rock, Steel, Fire, Ghost, and Dark, resists Ice, Bug, and Poison, and is immune to Normal and Fighting. So luckily, for playthroughs, it all evens out. Offensively, Frostlass can cover Flying, Ground, Grass, Dragon, Ghost, and Psychic, with no type currently walling both Ice and Ghost. Before the 3D era, Steel did completely wall Frostlass. Frostlass also learns a lot of good coverage, learning a variety of electric type moves, and even some water type moves. And fun fact, did you know that Frostlass used to be able to learn Wake Up Slap? Yeah, in Gen 4 and Gen 4 only, Frostlass can learn Wake Up Slap. Don't know why she can't learn it anymore, but now you know. But at least Frostlass can still learn Confuse Ray. It only makes sense because of her illusionary abilities. You heard it. Before Zoroark, Frostlass was the one with illusion powers. And Frostlass' illusions are more powerful than Zoroark's. Sure, Zoroark can change the way it looks. But not only can Frostlass also do that, but she can also make people see things that aren't there. In the episode The Drifting Snow Runt, we see this firsthand. Frostlass tricks both Team Rocket and the Ash Gang into thinking that they're being brought into a safe and warm cabin, only to reveal it's an icy cave. These powers may even be shown in Frostlass' abilities. Frostlass' base ability is Snow Cloak, which increases the evasiveness under Hail, which can either be that Hail increases Frostlass' illusion powers, or because of her mostly white body, the Hail simply gives camouflage. But Frostlass also has a hidden ability, Cursed Body. Cursed Body has a chance to disable the opponent's move when hit Frostlass with a contact move. And Legends Arcade it confirms that along with illusionary powers, Frostlass also has cursed powers. Professor Lavington, who we know to be Ryan Legends Arceus X entries, wrote about Legends of Frostlass placing curses on misbehaving men. Don't y'all cheat, otherwise Frostlass will get ya. So the real question is why Professor Lavington is so nervous. You hiding something, Mr. Professor? But speaking of Dex entries, through them we actually learn how powerful in universe Frostlass is. While Diamond and Pearl says that Frostlass' breath is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 50 Celsius, from X and Y onwards, Frostlass' breath was buffed to be negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 51 Celsius. 
and BDSP even continues with this. This makes Frostus more than powerful enough to freeze someone. Even Pokepark mentions that Frostus can freeze over an entire lake. In a nutshell, that's all the reasons I like Frostlass. I used Frostus in my first Brilliant Diamond playthrough, and she was definitely the ace of my team. Garchomp stood no chance. I could go on, but honestly, my brain is literally freezing right now. Can you please let me go? Oh no. Man, this food is great. You made it all yourself? What do you know? But anyways, dinner was great, but it's getting late. I should probably head home. Thanks. Good thing I always keep Ender Pros in my pocket. Have a nice day, you wonderful people. You wanna know one of the reasons I like Frostlass? It's because Frost has predicted BDSP. I'm serious. I know it sounds crazy. Game Freak playing things out, but hear this. What are the tiles of the Sinnoh remakes? Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Frostless is a nice type, and Ice can definitely be described as brilliant and shiny. Not convinced yet? Well, how about this? Frostless' dex number is 478. Isn't that an odd combo? 4, as in the generation that introduced Frostlass. 7, where hints of Sinnoh remakes began. And 8, the generation we got BDSP. So yes, Frostless predicted BSP.